The strengthening of Caribbean integration and the prosperity of our region are some of the objectives of the proposed amendments to the Immigration Caribbean Skills National Act 1803. During a press conference on Monday, Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs Dr. Amory Brown refuted claims by the opposition that changes to the legislation can lead to voter padding. Kimberly D'Souza tells us more. And our survival, our future, is in CARICOM. CARICOM is not the problem. It is the solution to the problem. Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs Dr. Amory Brown said the Caribbean Single Market Economy, CSME, provides a single economic space which will present employment opportunities for the Trinidad and Tobago nationals who want to work in countries across the region. We must expand opportunities for our people, Trinidad and Tobago nationals, to seek employment and to live in participating CARICOM member states. We, our people, will now have access to a larger market for employment, investment, and business opportunities. Following debate on the Immigration Caribbean Community Skilled Nationals Amendment Bill 2022 in the Senate last week, opposition Senator Wade Mark said the United National Congress will not support the bill. Mr. Mark warned that amendments to the bill may change the political landscape of the country and accuse the government of possible voter padding. But Dr. Brown said currently there is a requirement that other CARICOM nationals must work in the country for five continuous years before they apply for residency. I saw talks of voter padding and all sorts of other uh, extraneous issues. Classic UNC scaremongering. None of it is relevant to the amendments that are before the Senate. According to the bill, TNT nationals will be able to access 10 categories of skilled workers for free movement. Dr. Brown said the amendments can assist the country's progress as there have been repeated calls for free and uninhibited movement by the private sector so that businesses can grow and compete on a global basis. He said it also presents opportunities for members of the diaspora who wish to return home. This is the only way in which our country, our countries, and our region can survive in the modern age, can be competitive in the modern age, and can make best use of all our skills, all our resources, and all our people. Debate on the bill is expected to continue in the Senate on Tuesday, March 15th. Kimberly D'Souza. TDT News.